one. I've got some Christmas music playing. You can't really hear it. I don't want to turn it up too loud so that you couldn't hear me, but <clears throat> I have been Christmas shopping all morning. I went to the mall because I couldn't find, my husband likes just regular old school cotton boxers and I couldn't find them anywhere. And normally where I would get them is at Target. Um, they would have like these fun, like quirky prints, like skulls or little dogs on them or cactus. No, they don't have those anymore. Apparently, um, now the all the rage is those tight-fitting boxers, and my husband <laughs> refuses to wear them. So I had to go to Macy's. Ugh. I probably could have ordered them online on Amazon, but, you know, I just thought maybe I could find something better at the mall, and that was crazy. But I got what I needed. I went to Ulta. Ugh. Ugh. Don't go to Ulta right now. There's too much good stuff but they have a lot of good sales um, going on. So I got my nieces um, some really cute little things from Ulta. And if they're watching, well, there goes the surprise, but you don't know what it is yet. So anyways, so yay. So it's just me today. Veronica's on vacation. So it's just me and Mandy, our mannequin. <laughs> um, so this is gonna be probably a pretty quick one. I don't have a lot going on. But I just wanted to come on here and say hi and um, yeah, so I like to keep this going every Friday if we can so that you guys know when it's coming, like every Friday at noon, here we are. Um, and then I also put them on my blog too on my website so you can go back and watch some of them. I have been lazy and have not uploaded the last couple weeks, but I will do that next week. I just got really backed up with Christmas and everything like that. so. Anyways, that's that. So um, yeah, I launched my um, new collection. I, I hesitate to call it a New Year's Eve collection because New Year's Eve is like in a week and a half, two weeks, no, it's in a week, week and a half, a week. And so these pieces really you can wear after New Year's. So they're just really great um, dress up dresses, you know, for going out. Um, and having something nice to wear um, to any occasion really so that's why I didn't call it technically a New Year's Eve collection but it's coming out for New Year's Eve so it's called and the moon danced with the stars collection um, I've been kind of obsessed with moons and stars lately I know it's kind of all the rage but I'm, I'm really into like the more classic 1920s 30s moon and stars kind of look you know um, not like the new age kind of um, I don't want to say hippie but uh, bo boho kind of ones that are out now I'm not I don't really love but I did find some really pretty necklaces to go with these outfits that I thought really represented a vintage look um, in a new piece so um, we have those uh, layered necklaces that I would wear I mean they're so pretty you know really nice quality and really pretty on and a low price point, you know, so you have a cute little accessory to go with your new dress. Um, so, um, so yeah, I've been kind of obsessed with the, the moon and the stars, so I want to do a line for that. And I, I have more pieces coming for that um, moon and stars kind of theme. So this next year, um, it's going to be kind of interesting how it's all going to work. Um, I have like a couple of, quite a few pieces designed for the new year. Um, but I'm trying, I'm kind of staying in these themes that I really like, like throughout the year. So I don't know how this is going to be, if it's going to be collections coming out or, I mean, I'm still going to do that, but my original pieces are, they're just what I want to make. So, um, I'm going to try to design collections around them, you know, but <clears throat> I'm doing a lot of separates, like more s embroidered sweaters. Um, and the button-down tops which I know have taken forever but I want to make sure that the fits right on the button-down top um, so the stripe top is probably not going to make it for Christmas so sorry ladies um, I really tried I'm just a one-man show here so it's kind of hard um, to get everything done out 
out super fast, you know. So if I had a team of people, it might totally be different, you know. Um, but it's just me. So, um, but the good news is, is a red and white striped top you can wear year round. You could wear it for Valentine's Day or for Fourth of July, or just to, to be cute. You know, you could wear it with anything. So I'm gonna cut more fabrics in that top. So that's why I wanna make sure that it fits right, you know, and it looks good on. So we had to go through a few rounds of sampling for that. So, um, yeah, so that's coming. Um, I'm working on some new skirts um, and some new tops and, you know, stuff. I don't wanna give away the farm, so I'm not telling you a lot. I'm being very, I'm vague booking you right now. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> So, but if you could see my wall right now, my inspo wall, I've got a ton of great new designs up there that I'm working on and I'm really excited about it. So my goal for this year is not to be late for, you know, um, spring and summer and then back into Halloween again. So I'm trying to design a few months out so that we're not trying to play catch up all the time. So, um, yeah, so yay. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about these clutches that I have on my website. Um, my sister uh, has been practicing pinstriping. Um, my dad used to be a pinstriper and he, well a pinstriper, I mean I, I wouldn't even say that. He was a sign painter and a hot, old school hot rod guy and he would pinstripe on all of our cars. He'd pinstripe on everything. Like he built me a desk, an art desk, and he pinstriped all over and had my name on it. And I mean, just everything at our place was pinstriped all the time. So my sister really wants to, I think, carry on that tradition. And so she started pinstriping stuff and I asked her to do some spider web designs for my shop. And these are all one of a kind pieces that she's done. And she, we just, she just buys these purses, you know, um, online and then pinstripes on them and you know I said do pink and black and gold you know because those are the best colors um, right now and so I've got this one left and then we have one the other pink one with the one spider web on the side left but they're selling pretty good I mean you know <clears throat> I can't stress enough how important it is to support your local artists your independent designers you know especially in this day and age of mass production and and how many websites pop up um, that are from China and you think they're American but they're not you know so just do your research on what you're buying you know yes I buy like this dress I did not make this dress this dress is private label from Los Angeles um, and it is made in China okay so the thing with this is I'm really against selling or I'm really against Chinese factories knocking off American brands and it happens all the time. Now I'm not against China factories making stuff, just regular stuff and selling it. That's fine, you know. What you're doing by buying this garment from me as opposed to buying this garment from a Chinese website is you're supporting me and my family, you're supporting Veronica, you're supporting Terra O Photos, you're supporting my sew factory, you're supporting um, basically everybody that I employ you're supporting you know so I am not a hundred percent against buying things that are made from overseas there's no way to get around that that's just a fact of our life probably 80% of everything that you buy every day is made overseas you know but when you can have the chance to buy something that's American made at least try you know to do that and support American made stuff so that that way you're creating jobs in America you know you might not really think about it when you're buying that you know dress um, on the Aliexpress website where you can buy 10 dresses for $20 can we just talk about that for a minute I heard about this this morning that um, in one of the groups on Facebook that the girls were freaking out that they could buy 10 dresses for $20 on AliExpress. Now, I could be advertising that, but I am not advocating for you to go do that. I am trying to raise awareness at what you're going to get and what the uh, ripple, like the trickle down effects are of everybody doing that. Yeah, you can fill up your closet with a bunch of dresses, but 
I guarantee you they're gonna be terrible quality. They're probably gonna fall apart within a couple weeks and you're not supporting American jobs or designers, you know? Um, let's see. But they're awful quality. Yeah, see, that's the thing is they are awful. They're terrible. The quality is bad. The fit is terrible. And they're, they're going to fall apart. And in the end, you're the one that's going to be the one that's paying for it. Because you're just going to have to throw those away. And then you're going to realize, maybe I should spend a little bit more money and buy something that is a higher quality. It's going to last longer. You know? And... And fill your closet with stuff like that you know so I I was really sad to hear that that's what fashion has come down to now granted I made my I make my living off of you guys shopping um, that's why I like to put out different things it's not always the same thing it's not always a dress like it's a clutch I'm making these beautiful scarves here these are my own design based on, of course, the vintage spiderweb floral design that everybody's doing now, but this is my version of it in a baby pink and gray and black. This is made in Canada, and the, these scarves are going to come in two sizes. This is a smaller one, and then there's going to be a bigger one, and you can, we're going to tie it as a turban. So, you know, this kind of stuff is lower priced items you can add to your wardrobe. It's not always a really expensive dress. I'm not asking for a lot <laughs> here, you know? I'm a designer, I love to make things, and an artist. I'm lucky that I get to do this for a living, and I would like to continue to do that, but it's gonna be really hard to continue to do that if people aren't supporting local American independent designers. I mean, you don't have to be American, if you live in America, it'd be good because then you're making jobs here. We need jobs here. I don't know if you know that or not, but we need jobs here in America. So, anywho, um, yes, my also, I'd like to take a second to talk about my own novelty print skirts. I was manufacturing them here in America, had a terrible time, it was really hard to find a printer that could deliver on time and do a good job. Then I met um, someone who was making them, in, making clothes in Mexico, and I just live like literally 15 minutes from the border. So I was using him. We were printing everything here in America, then we would take them across the border and they were sewn. Then that factory started kind of jerking me around and I wasn't getting my orders on time or full runs of orders. So when I went to Magic, I found a China-based factory that was able to produce my skirts for me on time with amazing quality and at a good price point. Now, they were a little bit cheaper than making them here in America, but not very much, you know? And this is a legitimate factory that I've been using for almost two years now. But I have some news about this. I've decided I do not have any new novelty print skirts on the books for the next year. I am, I do have more skirts they're just not gonna be the polyester ones printed and manufactured in China. I am trying my best to make everything here now in America. Um, I found a factory that can print cotton fabric for me at a great price. Um, so if I am gonna do another novelty print, I will be doing it here in America. Um, it's just cause I don't want anybody to be like, oh, you're a hypocrite, blah, blah, blah. I'm not, you know, I'm just an American businesswoman trying to make a living and unfortunately because of fast fashion, AliExpress, all those places, Rose Gal, they have driven down the prices of clothing so much that America, you can't make anything in America at a decent price, you know? I have also cut out wholesale out of my equation so that I could lower my price point, so that I could bring you better quality product at a lower price point. Now you're only going to be able to get these things from me and my shop, but that's the way that it goes, you know. Um, I can't stress it enough how important it is um, that you continue to support American-made clothing and designers as much as you can. Um, so that's, that's what's on the horizon for 2018. And let me tell you, I've got some great stuff coming out that I'm really excited about. Um, it's going to be even better than my previous designs. Um, more classic, more everyday wear, 
um, some more denim pieces and more embroidery, um, things like that. So I'm really excited, you know, things are going well. Um, I really couldn't be more happy with, you know, how my business has grown and evolved. And, you know, I was talking to a friend this morning and telling her, I've got dog hair all over me because I have two dogs, um, telling her that, you know, about the novelty prints and how I'm kind of scaling back, I, I do feel as though the market is quite saturated with them and I think that it's time for something new and different. So I'm actually excited because I'm kind of tired of designing the same old stuff over and over again. I'm really excited to do like, to offer things like this, like 1920s, 30s, 40s style pieces, you know, or like more everyday wear, like, you know, great pair of um, capris, you know, or um, fun sweaters that you can pair with that, that you can wear on the daily basis, you know, um, more everyday stuff. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm not sad, you know, at all at the explosion that has happened with the novelty print skirts. I am sad that um, it, a lot of them are coming from overseas, you know, and the price points are so low that I don't know how anybody's making any money. And I think it makes it harder for us girls here who do want to make good quality skirts at a good price point. Um, you can't, you have to, you have to, you can't do it anymore. So anyways, um, yeah. So I'm excited about all the new stuff. I, I'm excited where my business is taking me and I'm really excited that, you know, it's an evolution. To me, it's almost like one big art project. Um, when I started this business, I was really bored at my job and it was a great creative outlet for me and it still is. And it almost feels like it really is one big art project from the photography to the clothes, to the marketing, to you know the websites, to everything. You know, I really love every part of it. And in order to keep it fresh and new, it has to change, you know, and it, and fashion changes, you know, I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, gosh, you know, like what you were wearing this year is totally different than what you were wearing last year, you know? So that's just life, you know, and I'm, I'm excited going forward, you know, I really want to bring in more of my hot rod culture from my past into my designs in a classic way, you know, not just like, oh, here's a hot rod skirt, you know, it's going to be more like, how do I explain it? It's going to be, uh, there'll be classic pieces with, um, you know, reminiscent of the 1920s and 30s hot rod days, you know, motorcycle days, um, not modern, anything like that, not um, just your basic car show kind of clothes. It, I've been really inspired by the race of the gentleman and I really want to go see it. I think I posted a video for that a while ago. One of these days I'll get there. Um, but I think that that style is just so incredible. I'm probably giving away the farm right now. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to stop talking so much about what I'm doing. So that's it. You know, um, I don't know what else to say today because it's Friday. I'm leaving tomorrow to go to LA to visit my family. I will be back on Tuesday. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it into the studio on Tuesday, but I'm gonna try depending on the traffic. Um, if we have orders, they probably won't go out until Wednesday. I'm, I'm shipping everything today, whatever's left over. I think there's only a few. And then after that, nothing's gonna go out probably until Wednesday. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a great holiday and spend time with your family and I've totally got a cold thanks to my assistant Veronica anyways I hate being sick hopefully it doesn't get too bad but once I'm done here I'm gonna go home and rest and then pack for tomorrow so yeah unless you guys have any questions for me um, I will be available on email in case you guys have questions about where your order is or what's shipping or what's not shipping or whatever. So don't worry about that. I'll check at least in the morning and in the evening. So, yeah. 
guess that's it. I want to show you this cool necklace that I got. I got this on Etsy. It's like a vintage little hand holding a little diamond. I love it. It's so pretty. I have, this is, it's a little hint as to what's coming from my shop. Oh, but that's it. That's all I'm going to tell you. All right, guys, have a fabulous holiday, and I will see you next Friday when we do another Lunch with Tobbs. I promise it'll be more exciting. We'll have more new stuff to show you probably. So, all right, guys, Merry Christmas. I'll see you next, I'll see you next week.